Welcome back, guys. I'm Tasteless, and with me is Wolf. This is the GSL Code A. And so far, we've had some great games. Tassadar deservedly is now out of the GSL narrative. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he just, the guy he just I, did not cut it, man. He, I mean, he used to be pretty good. He used to be, you know, low Code S level, which is actually still one of the best players in the whole world. But, yeah. You know, he never adapted. You look at a player like Maru. I feel like Tassadar would be a high-ranked barcode. Yeah. You look at a player like Maru, and, and in fact, Tassadar actually was, before people started using barcodes, always like in top five, like GM. Um, he was like always up there. He used the ID Tassadar, and, and he was public with it for like the longest time. He yeah. was like one of those guys, but I don't know. Maru, had, you know, changed his style. Tassadar did not. These two players, both all in in their early parts of their career, but... One of these two players is going to move on to Codex. Will it be DRG or will it be Impact? Let's find out here in our final best of three for this GSL Code. And in the bottom left from Busan, he is. Dongnegu. And to the top right. Impact. Very brief intro. Came there. out really fast, didn't it? It did. Uh, an up and comer. I feel like uh, definitely really suits Axiom's needs right now. Uh, just very much a you know a, a Zerg they needed. Uh, they're not playing in the GSTL, of course, anymore, but still other team leagues and. Just a good depth to have to their roster so that their other non Zerg players can prepare for this matchup. Well, well full uh, first for impact, yep. and DRG looks to be going hatch first. I will put DRG as a favorite here. Impact's been playing very well today, but DRG is just very solid at ZBZ. Yeah. He was doing very well in ZBZ when uh, Zergs were dominant as well. You got to keep that in mind. He was, and uh, his Zerg versus Zerg has gotten him some very important teams for his uh, points for his team in Pro League. It's a matchup that uh, he seems to be just, he has this extra edge over everybody else. It's like he knows um, how to manage his droning and his attacking units balancing, which is the hardest part of ZBZ. Just slightly better than most other average players. Well, not to say that Impact is an average player because he's here qualified for uh, Code A and is actually one best of three from Code S, but still, you know, just players who haven't been as accomplished as DRG, you know, the, some of the lower tier top players. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm really interested uh, to find out if Impact can go all the way uh, into Code S. How far will he get? I mean, no. We always get a lot of these really solid players, um, these up and comers. And, you know, it's been proven here in StarCraft 2 that the uh, the faces of the best of the best are going to be constantly shifting. Yeah, that's true. I mean, nobody can stay on top forever. Yeah, finals like Zest and Sue, you know? Yeah. No, it's always, like, really important to remember. I mean, all competitive sports, uh, somebody has to lose, right? No Can't matter. have winners without losers. Exactly. Double gas here now uh, for Impact. And uh, the same here for DRG. So far, the builds are essentially mirrored. He loses like a little bit of mining uh, because he went hatch first with those drones, but when his zerglings pop out, kind of equals out the rush distance and he's totally fine. Actually, might even kill one of these links. Yeah, it looks like he should. Yep. So DRG actually is getting these little tiny advantages here with his links. Actually taking out that second link, nicely done. I like DRG's position. I mean, all things considered, he has... It's it's a very marginal lead, but it is something. Notice he went two gases, but he's only mining with one drone from one after link speed is being made. Uh, now, on the other hand, DRG got one gas, and I believe is not mining from that at all. Uh, but you can see what Impact was trying to do was deceive his opponent. Let's see how effective that is against him. Meanwhile, DRG with 24 links to the 16 links, 20 now of Impact. And yeah. one spine crawler here for impact. So right now, DRG is assuming his opponent is teching. Therefore, he's going to have to do some kind of aggression and punish him for that. In fact, his opponent's not teching. What impact's doing instead is getting one spine crawler. Uh, Queen's over here to defend an evolution chamber for a wall up in his own links, in the hopes that he can bait DRG into an overextending into him, and then a counterattack from impact could be proven to be effective. 
Yeah. Uh, he's actually going to break through here, but I don't think he's going to get critical damage done. And oh, look at this. He even shows only a few lings. And now here come the rest of the lings. With the queens there on the spine, yeah, DRG's like, oh, I've made a mistake. Nicely done there by Impact, really duping his opponent. Now it looks like he might be losing one queen over here on the far left. Yeah, and actually, I mean, speed allows you to surround pretty quickly. you got to be careful yep, about speed that. Speed just now finishing here for Impact, but a little bit too late as DRG gets a slight, slight, slight uh, edge there, killing off that queen. Just a bit about the vegetation on this map that makes me think of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. The... Uh, <laughs> The map is, is pretty coolly designed, you know, with the tile set plus the, the plants growing on it. It gives you that feel of overgrowth. Right? And, uh, you know, with the Ling's now gathering up for DRG, again, he still wants to push in here. Uh, whoop, whoop, is he going to catch these Ling's? Okay, he's not. Impact is going to run in here. This is probably... Oh, my God. Yeah, he's going to get some through at least, right? Yep, and get a little bit of scouting done now. Now, there's a defensive Bane Ling Nest coming up here for Impact. And, in fact, even having his, his own Ling's back here... Uh, you know, in, in his base is going to be good because if he can get that up in time, oh my god, he almost denied that. He well, needs to get some banelings up here because this is a tremendous number of lings right now um, for DRG. DRG. He made, might be able to just tear it through. He's made so many lings. Are there any banelings making? No, I, I, I don't, don't see think any. So I don't. I don't believe there are. He may now even. he pulls him out over here, but it looks like Impact is still very confident in engaging that too, especially with the queen behind it. So, DRG is now headed southbound back home with Impact uh, hot on his trail. Yeah, I mean, if This you may trigger Impact actually to go Baneling. Okay, there it is. Baneling into uh, his opponent. Yeah, you know, if you look at the worker count, it's actually much better for DRG, but that means he has less lings. And this means that Impact has this little timing window where he can punish because DRG is likely to not have static defense. He's with, starting them now. With the ling uh, catch there that he got on DRG, I think Impact might be able to do. Uh, huge damage here. Yeah, these. There's no wall in here, so the Banelings have free reign. These uh, uh, spines are already getting targeted down here. Great hit on those first few links, and uh, I think that's all she wrote, Tasteless. Yeah. I think so. I, I believe he can actually get in here. I mean, there's not. We don't see more links trickling down here, but the amount of damage that's going to be done here. Um, oh, my God. Oh, nice actually pulling that. It just saves it for, you know, there's no reason not to. Uh, yeah, being conservative with that. Gets two there. It's still now, okay. The attacks here from Impact are not done. He has more lings coming down. He'll have to make a few more Bane lings. What's important to note is that uh, DRG does still have a drone lead, but an insignificant army lead, yeah. which is a, a bit alarming. And again, taking out that queen now, keep in mind, those are larva injects that are not happening, which means Impact, despite having a... Oh, never mind. GG. GG. DRG taps out. I was going to say, despite Impact having an inferior number of drones, the uh, larva injects are the real story there, not the worker count. Yeah. Well, he looks pretty happy about that win. Taking a sip of his water and staying hydrated. Staying hydrated. Now, you guys, guys should have some water at home too. You should actually. Thirst is the first form of dehydration. And if you, <laughs> if you're cold, get a blanket. Make yourself comfy. Oh, if you, uh, if you look at this, I mean, we are about to be in a world again. We've, we've been here before where DRG may not be in Kodas. His coach comes in, you know, gives him a he, massage. I, I gotta say, um, I, I I feel bad for DRG, but this is the nature of the beast that is, you know, esports here in Korea. Uh, it is so competitive, it is so unforgiving, and you get these young guys like Impact right here, who are hungry, they want it, and they will do anything in their power to get there. DRG will. right now is being outmaneuvered. Uh, I think Impact played that very intelligently. He got the double gases. In fact, it was not a teching build. Baited DRG into attacking him. Even made it look like he was teching with the double Evo chamber wall in. Impact drove him all the way back home. And DRG did not have an answer to Mass Lings. He was not prepared for that. This is the scariest thing you can see if you're a DRG yeah. fan is a smile on the face of your opponent who's up 1-0 in the final series. You know, you have that sort of attitude going into a game on a map, especially like Habitation Station, I feel like. Uh, you know, I worry for DRG here. He's he's a player who oftentimes gets emotional, and the stakes are at their very highest right now. It, it can be tough when you're at the very, very top, when you're the best in the world, but then be back down there where people might be saying, well, you know, he's not that good anymore, or, you know, his time has passed. He might be too old to still dominate. Uh, impact, if he loses, ah, no big deal. You lost to DRG. No, you know, no harm done. If you win, wow. 
Are you the next Jerk Bonjoie? That's what everybody that's, wants to find that's out. What he, <laughs> that's right. So, going on into game number two. Can DRG turn this around or is Impact going to close this out and upset? I'm Tasis with me as Wolf, and this is the GSL Code A.